how do you replace your home photo with your own? And by this I mean that when you go to your blog and view it as it comes out of the box, so to speak, you're going to see this banner ad at the top of the screen. And inside that you're going to see a frame with an image of Dave Wood and his wife defaulted. So I'd like to show you how to update this photo to use a photo from your computer and also how to format that photo if it doesn't fit already. And I'd like to show you how to do that for free using some software that is probably sitting around your computer that you don't even realize you have. Um, and this is going to be a two-part video series, two separate videos in this tutorial section. So what you want to do is go and sign in to your dashboard to the advanced view get out of the easy mode if you're in the easy mode and click on go down to appearance and home photo that photo is called the home photo or the header photo now if you'll see here at the top you'll see that it says for best results the image should be 260 px times 278 px what they're saying is px means pixels 268 pixels by 278 pixels now what's interesting here is that this is not what it says in the knowledge base and here is where video number one which talks about uh, the Empower Network help in the best places to get it and I talked to you about the knowledge base this is where that comes into play. <coughs> right, so why is to listen to all these videos? If you go over here you sign into the knowledge base and again if you do not know how to get into the knowledge base go watch video number one about how to get uh, Empower Network Help, How to Get It, Part 1. Um, what you want to do is sign into the knowledge base, log in over here on the left hand corner, go down to the blog system, and page down to this article, which is headed, How Do I Replace Dave's Photo with My Own in the Header? And if you'll see here, it says, Picture Must Be 277 by 277 px. Well, that's different than what it just said in your blog dashboard and this is one of those reasons why the knowledge base is a good place to come because you may find that it, your other image doesn't fit very perfectly so that said let's go back to the dashboard and pick up a file from the computer and we are going to pick a photo that happens to fit perfectly just to show you how to do it and you click on upload here and then what happens is after a few minutes, it will take a few minutes, go and visit your blog live and you're going to see your image perfectly uh, put into this little box here. So let's go on to part two and I'm going to show you how to make an image like this that does not fit uh, and how to crop it and make it fit using some free software that you probably have hanging around your computer that you've long since forgotten about.